Welcome back to the homestead everyone. Today we are going to be reviewing this Sung Life hand crank survival radio. And we're going to see just how good this is for the price. Okay, first things first, in the interest of full disclosure, I did receive this radio for free. I've had these in the past, and they've always, I've never had good success, let's just say that. No problem. I've been testing this for a few days now, and going through some of the features on it. First initial thoughts is I like it. So let's go over some of the features that it has. So we've got, a nice light here in the front, pretty bright. But what's cool is on the top here, check that out, is the solar panel. Now you would think, hey, that's kind of weird. Does that solar panel kind of like fold out to track the sun? No, it folds out for a reading light. Now that is really bright. There's like, uh, I think I count four, if I hold it at the right angle, four LEDs, and that is incredibly bright. You can see it on my face here, shirt. Uh, I am outside, so it's a little hard to tell in the dark, but maybe I'll splice in some video of me completely in the dark with this. All right, here we go. Here's the flashlight. It's adjustable on the beam. I don't know if you can see that adjusting at all, but it adjusts. And we're going to turn that one off and watch this reading light. Oh, if I can get it open in the dark. Here we go. Wow, that actually throws way more light than the flashlight. That's pretty bright. Okay, so it has the hand crank. This is a hand crank radio, which is incredibly cool, and it charges. So it charges from the solar panel and the hand crank. Additionally, what's amazing about this little uh, survival radio is it's got a third way to power itself, which you can place in your own triple A batteries. That is incredibly convenient and helpful because who knows how long that lithium ion battery, now this is a uh, 2000 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery that's on the inside that's attached to the crank and the uh, solar. Who knows how long that's going to last? That's, that's kind of interesting on how long those last. Some last longer, some last shorter, it all depends. So. The cool thing is, is you've got that backup. It's really nice. And right here on the bottom, you can switch between your triple A's and your lithium ion right there. Now, some people have reported that their triple uh, A's haven't worked. And I haven't had that problem at all. It's no, no issue for us. We've got, and I've been beating on this thing a lot, kind of like messing with it, dropping it, oops, <laughs> dropping it on purpose? No, no, not at all. Um, but what's, I, I'm impressed with the, the rugged nature of this. Now, like I said, I've had these before, and uh, this one is much more rugged than the other ones. And what's nice about it is it's covered in this rubberized coating. So even if your hands are wet, it's got a, there's some friction there to grab it, which is really fantastic. All right, another cool feature, and mine did come with it. Now I heard from another person that theirs didn't come with it. Let me show you the box here. So this is the box it comes in. Nice picture on the back, some instruction on the side. We have got the instructions, which are incredibly important and helpful. And we've also got a USB charging cable. That USB charging cable plugs right here into the side. You got a regular USB and a mini USB. So you're able to charge your cell phone off this thing, which is super helpful in a uh, preparedness situation. Say you've got, you're, you've gone through a hurricane. You know, I live in Texas. I used to live in Houston. So obviously a whole ton of bad stuff has happened to poor 
my poor beloved Houston uh, lately, flooding and such, and you need something like this. Everybody should have something like this in their prep kit or, you know, whatever it is, their hurricane kit, every, you know, the city government, the state government uh, recommends that you have a hurricane kit if you live along the coast in Texas. So I think that's important. All right, let's check out this radio. Now, I've never had good reception with these. This is the exception. It's got a little light here to show you or indicate, where's the light? There's the light, the green light. It indicates if you're on the correct bandwidth. It has three bandwidths, AM, FM, and it's got the NOAA uh, weather radio uh, bandwidths, which is also just unbelievably helpful, especially, say, on the coast uh, somewhere, and you need to know what the weather is going to be like or if the hurricane is uh, you're in the eye or on the back end of it or whatever. I am underneath in my stable right now. Houston Intercontinental, mostly sunny, 90. You can hear it's got really solid reception. I've got a, a metal roof on here, galvanized steel roof, and it's doing wonderfully. Let's go to the FM. In Espanol. Okay, you can tell it's got great reception. Yesterday I won the case. Now this is an AM station. I'm going to turn that down. This is an AM station. I am extremely impressed that I'm getting uh, this clear of an AM uh, frequency out here where I live, which I really don't get that many AM stations at all. So out of this little thing, uh, that is a powerful little radio to give you me reception like that. I am I'm incredibly impressed with that part of it. We've got nice big knobs on the end for you know, this is your on off and your volume and your tuning. They're a little wobbly and I, I'd be careful if I keep dropping it. I hope I don't keep dropping it um, if those uh, would crack off like that, but I don't think they will. It's pretty, uh, it, it seems pretty solid so far. I can't say how many times I've accidentally dropped it. Okay, so you get ready for this one. That is a cool feature. If you're lost in the woods and you need somebody to find you, that will wake up, uh, hopefully not a bear, but somebody else to come get you and, uh, and help them find you. That's a little SOS um, thing right there. Oh, on the bottom here, let me show you this. So we've got the SOS. In the center is uh, just the regular modes, but down here you got to switch it down to use your USB charge. And that's really nice too. Everything's clearly marked on here. Oh, one more thing. All right, I got the light on. I'm gonna turn it off. You can see, now I wanna leave it on because it's starting to indicate, this is really nice. This is your battery indicator light. The old one I had did not have that. And unfortunately it just stopped, it just quit in the middle. I think the lithium ion battery in the inside died, so I couldn't hand crank or uh, charge it via solar anymore, which is why this one is so nice. It's got uh, that AAA battery backup. Um, but this one indicates when you're low on battery. Let me give you some examples of run time. So cranking this, the hand crank, for 30 seconds will give you a roughly three minutes of radio and light combined together. That's pretty good for 30 seconds of cranking. If you go to 60 seconds of cranking, that's gonna give you three minutes of light by itself, and then an additional four and a half minutes of radio for a total time of seven and a half minutes. That's awesome for this little radio for just cranking it for one minute. What's even better is 45 minutes of charging from just this little solar cell is gonna give you 20 minutes of light and radio combined together runtime. And get ready, two hours in the sun, and this thing will give you 60 minutes of radio. That's really amazing in a small package like this. So I have some comparison of this to another one that I had. This one blows it out of the water. 
All right, this one is $28.99. I think I paid $35 for the other one. This one's $28.99. And the company who sent this to me for free, Sung Life, has allowed me to give you a discount code for 20% off. So I think that brings it down to $24.20, which makes it one of the cheapest ones on Amazon. Now, I don't want you to get scared when you hear me say that, but making it one of the cheapest ones just for you. But the quality of it, in my opinion, is top notch. All right. I mean, it, it's not uh, something that is going to last a lifetime. No, it's uh, just for emergencies, occasional usage, occasional droppage, and uh, for putting in your preparedness, um, hurricane pack, bug out bag, prepper bag, just in the house, whatever it may be, just in the vehicle. And it's gonna, it's gonna do a great job for you. Some of the features, like I said, that elevated above a lot of the other ones are that backup AAA uh, battery compartment and the USB charging. And the longevity and you know, just being able to switch between all the different features. Um, yes, it comes with a lanyard and this little uh, carabiner, which is neither here nor there, but it's, it's nice. It's nice to have it to hold on to or, you know, to clip it to a bag. So there it is. If you want, go check out the description below and I'll leave the Amazon link to it. And I will leave uh, the discount code for it and you will all get 20% off on this item. I have received some other things before and I have not done reviews on them because they have been low quality. This is different. This I'm impressed with. It, it actually has uh, held up well, like I said. So thank you everyone. We appreciate you being here. Oh, let me mention, this is our emergency bag for our vehicle. You can call it a bug out bag, you can call it whatever you want. It has an IFAC in it, individual first aid kit. And we will be reviewing what we have in our small bag for our area and reviewing what we keep in our vehicle. We're gonna be doing an updated EDC, vehicle EDC, homestead vehicle EDC, and IFAC slash uh, bug out bag for that. So thank you again. Have a great day and we will see you next week on our next video. Tuesday. Subscribe. Thumbs up. We love you. Take care. Bye.